Hi, it's Sissy with Turtle Tarot Journey. Uh, sorry, I got my fan on because I was just out with my dogs uh, playing with B-A-L-L. -L. But it is so hot out. Like, it's October 22nd and it says 86 but feels like 102. I'm like, really? It's October. That's Florida for you. But anyway, I'm coming on here because I wanted to tell you about this tarot deck that I found or that found me. I'm going to say this tarot deck found me. I was on a site. It's called Let Go. It's where people sell their stuff and you go in and you put your area in. You look for whatever you want and it'll show things around you. Which I was looking for a shelf and this tarot deck popped up. I was like, tarot deck? That's weird. So I clicked on it. And I'd never heard of it. And I was like, you know, the box looked kind of old and stuff. He had a picture of it. But what caught my eye was the chariot card. Now, I grew up in Indiana. And my backyard was actually in the infield of the Indy 500. So, I have a soft spot for like Indy cars and stuff. But anyway, I was like... $13.50. I'm going to go get it because of the chariot card. I was like, I got to have that deck. And I am a Rider Waite Smith girl. Like, I, I guess because that's what I learned on, studied with. But, like, I'll always check a deck out. And it, it, if it doesn't really follow the Rider Waite Smith, I'll be like, uh, not for me. And, uh, but anyway, I was like, I'm going to go get it. $13.50. And the chariot is an Indy car. So I went and got it. I got it home and I cleansed it and everything. And I started going through the deck. And I'm telling you, this is a powerful deck. I think it is. It's the Rorig Tarot. Okay. And it says on the back, uh, printed in Belgium, Blue Star Communications. I started checking it out. I'm thinking I might have a first edition English uh, censored copy. It does have breast in it, but like lower portions of the guys and the girls are covered, but there's lots of breasts. So I guess censored means the lower part covered, which I don't have a problem with nudity. So it didn't bother me if it would have been either way, but <coughs> this is the backs of the deck. I'll show you size comparison. This is a steampunk tarot. So it's a regular size tarot deck. And this is the row rig tarot. Look at that. Wow. Okay. I, I, this is the biggest deck I have. I didn't think I would like a big deck, but I really like this. But anyway, I started going through it and I just got it. So I still, there's still th things I'm learning about. I actually got my magnifying glass out because there's words all down here and I thought they were all German because a lot of them are see how it has the cancer symbol so any card that's associated with an astrological sign it has the symbol on it which I, I thought that was really cool and um, yeah did I say I'm a cancer so I had to have this because the chariot chariot card was at Indy race car driver but um so anyway i got my little magnifying glass out so i could like read what it says down here change to good it, it's got all new beginnings it's got all kinds of stuff in here in english that i couldn't even see because even if you weren't blind like me you still would have a hard time seeing those but i so i just got it I did go on Amazon and I ordered the book to go with this because I was like, I need the book because these cards are like, I don't know, when I held this deck and went through it, like I just got this weird feeling like, like this deck found me, you know, like I was supposed to have this deck. It's just like so powerful to me, like the images and stuff, I think, but, um, so I still have a lot to look at and the book won't be here till next Thursday, which is weird. I'm not sure where it's coming from, but usually Amazon, cause I have prime, I get something the next day or the day after. So next Thursday, 
But in the meantime, I will be checking these cards out with my magnifying glass because I did find some really cool stuff on it. But I just wanted to show you a few of the images. Uh, I read somewhere that it's like in between Rider Waite Smith and the Thoth deck, which I know nothing about the Thoth deck. I mean, I had no desire to get it because I was like, that's not Rider Waite Smith. But it's making me question my, question my uh, choices. Okay, so I showed you the chariot. Okay, these are not in order. Here's the, and the suits are uh, swords, cups, wands, and disc. So disc for pentacles. But here's three of wands, and it says, okay, it'll have the suit up here in a light gray. Like it says wands underneath there, and then in black it says virtue. So three of wands, and it says virtue. But look at that image. Here's the star card. The four of wands, and it says completion. Um, five of swords, and it says defeat. Now it does say loss. I can see loss, but it says some other things, which I haven't got to look at yet. But look at that image. I just think this deck is powerful. This says seven of a uh, disc and it says failure for the keyword. And then there are a bunch of uh, words down here, which I can't wait to see. But look at that. And there's a guy right there sitting on a rock. Look at that vast sky and Says failure. failure. Um, the emperor, and it's got the Aries sign. And sorry, I keep losing my train of thought. It, I don't know if I told you the the uh, court cards are princess, prince, queen, and knight. No kings. And here's the Princess of Dis. To me, she looks more like she should be the Empress, but... Oh, I forgot to warn, there's breasts. But yeah, here's the Four of Disc. And it says power. And look at this image. Like... Oh, here's the queen of disc, and there is a boob showing in this, which is really strange. Queen of disc. Here is the nine of wands, and it says strength. Quit, Heidi. My dog's whining. Okay. Queen of Wands. Let's see. I'll find something else here for you. Queen of Disc. It says success. And there's a bunch and there's other words in there which I can't wait to see. But see all those people up there? Two of Swords and it says peace. The High Priestess. of wands. Hold on. Sorry, people. Oh. I had to lock my dogs out because she's whining. She wants to go play ball again and it's too hot out. Ace of Disc. Two of Wands, and it says to me, Heidi, go lay down. I mean, these images, here's a Knight of Disc, but he looks like a king to me. Look at that. Wow. He looks powerful to me. Okay. 
Okay, here's the Ace of Swords. So, like, I feel like that follows the Rider Waite Smith. Like, I know nothing about Thoth, so I don't know what in here. If it doesn't look like Rider Waite Smith, I'm thinking, oh, that must be, like, sort of like Thoth or something. But here's the Two of Cups. Oh, no, this is the Six of Cups, and it says Pleasure. Here's the Hermit. It has the Virgo symbol and stuff. And down here, I did find... Um, oh, what did I do? Oh, here it is. On the Hermit card down here, it says... Uh, to find one's own light. And it says a few other things, but to find one's own light. But that's the Hermit card. Yeah one's own light and here's the lover's card and it has the Gemini symbol on it that's the lover's card okay and here's three cups and it says abundance and it says other things down there but I cannot wait to get the book but when I held this deck after I cleansed it and I was going through it something about this deck like here's the hangman and the words down here there are some words that say like perception and stuff like that but of course that follows the writer way smith that's a hangman and okay ace of cups And the Wheel of Fortune. And here's one. This is the Eight of Pentacles. At first, I thought this was a bonfire. But there's words down here that I'm going to have to see what they say. But there's like a bunch of people there. But it's some kind of tree. So, I don't know if it's like the Tree of Life or what. But can you see the people right there? And you can tell this is like a tree. So I am so excited to get the book. It's a magician. Wow. He is so neat looking. Oh, I don't mean to say neat, but the Hierophant. And it's got the Taurus symbol. Wow. He looks so scholarly. Look at that. Oh my goodness. These are just so powerful. And look, here's the Knight of Cups. Mr. Romantic. And look, I mean, look at that. And there's a bunch of writing off in this part right here, which I'm going to have to look at. So I'm excited to see what that says. Oh, and look at this card. This is Judgment. And look, it's got a card from the Rider Waite Smith a judgment card. Can you see that? Isn't that wild that there's a Rider Waite Smith card on the judgment card? Wow. Yeah, is that? I don't know. These are just so uh, here's the full which is also on the box. Ace of Wands. This is the Nine of Cups and it says happiness. And then let's see if there's anything else. The Two of Cups, which says love on it. And it does say some other words down here, but Influence, King of Cups, let's see. Oh, Five of Wands says Strive. Let's see. Oh. oh, here's one I thought was really cool. This is the Tower. And can you see that right there? That looks like the checkered flag at the indie 
races, the checkered flag. So I thought that was interesting. And it's the tower and it's breaking in half. So I thought that was pretty cool. But here's uh, the five of disc and it says worry. And it says some other things on here, but look at that. Um, I don't know, does anybody have this deck? Do they use this deck? Uh, I would love to know about this deck. Like, to me, this deck is so powerful. Like, here's the strength card, which it has the uh, symbol of Leo, but uh, up here in English, it says lust or strength. Oh, here's, here's a card that I thought was so powerful. It's the Nine of Swords, and the keyword says cruelty. But look at that. And going right across the front is Bob Wire Fence. Like going across there. But look at that card. Oh my gosh. Oh, and this one too, the Three of Swords, and it says sorrow, and it says not clear and stuff on the door, this big door, and there's the swords right there, but it says like not clear, and up at the top it says sorrow, and it says sorrow on the door, or gate, or whatever that is, but you see the guy right there, he's so little compared to that door, Oh. But I just wanted to come on here and show you these. I feel lucky that I got this deck. It is so powerful. Look, here's the Seven of Swords. Look at this. Look at that. Wow. But I can't wait to get the book and use this. Or read about it. I think this deck is powerful. I don't know. If you have it and you use it, or you know anything about it, if you've used it for a long time, gosh, I'd love to talk to you about it. This, I, oh my gosh. I feel so lucky that this deck found me, or else I would have never got this deck. Um... Sorry, my glasses, my German Shepherd got a hold of my expensive glasses and now they're just like kind of wonky. So I need to get a new pair. But yeah, the Row Rig Tarot. Oh my goodness. I'm in love with this deck so far. I can't wait to like dive into it and get to know it better. But anyway, let me know what you think. Talk to you soon. Bye.